What is up guys, The Premium Rat here, and uh, today is going to be a different sort of commentary. So today I'm going to be telling everyone that watched this video um, a great way of building a successful gaming channel on YouTube. Now a lot of people have done this in the past, so you know, I thought I'd just give my take on the subject. Now I'm sure you guys know that it is, at this current point in time in the so-called community, um, it's probably at its toughest point for small gaming channels that have just started out to gain any sort of attention or get noticed in any way, shape or form. Especially when you've got these massive gaming channels like White Boy 7th Street and The Syndicate Project, to name just but a few, crowding out all the smaller channels that actually produce fantastic content. Now, I've been on YouTube now for almost a year, and I've had first-hand experience on how difficult it is to get your content out there. And basically, the main thing in growing a successful gaming channel is networking. I get this question quite a lot now. Premium, can you give me some tips on how to make my channel grow? Now, usually the two main tips I give to people are upload games people want to see, there's no point starting a gaming channel and expecting to grow when you're uploading My Little Pony's Fantasy Adventure or something like that, because that's just not what people want to see. The three main games that dominate the, the community at the moment are Call of Duty, which has dominated and probably will continue to dominate for a number of years to come, FIFA, which with the likes of KSI has really grown into a major player, and finally Minecraft. I remember when the Minecraft beta was released and just playing it on my laptop and I just thought to myself, you know what, loads of people are going to upload this because it's just different and um, it's just a lot of fun really sorry <clears throat> so stick to stick to uploading one of those but there are many others like I know for a fact Halo has a massive community but it hasn't really developed in the past couple of years because I'm not really a Halo player but the people I've spoken to have said that the past couple of games that they've released haven't really been up to standard and I, and I know that the introduction of the new game coming out later later this year if it's good, then I know the Halo community will start to boom again and you'll see loads of people uploading it. There are a few others, though, that fall under the category of, the well, there is an audience for it, but not really as big as the top three, and that's Gears of War and Battlefield, which I've uploaded Gears of War in the past, and I will slowly start to integrate Battlefield into my uploads as well. And the other tip I usually give to people are, try to upload regularly. I remember when I started making videos, I used to upload three every three or maybe four days, maybe even five days. And as I've grown, I've slowly started to upload more. Um, now I'm at a point where I can comfortably upload daily because if you upload really good content that people enjoy, then people are going to want to watch more of you. Your name will start to get out there with more regular uploads. Don't wait a week to upload it. Do it. Just do it as often as you can. <clears throat> so what do I mean by networking? Well, basically networking, to put it simply, is helping each other out in, in order to grow. It's basically sharing what you have with others. And with networking, you can share a number of things. You can share gameplays, you can share commentaries, you can even share subscribers. So now you're asking, how do I share gameplays? Well, in fact, I'm giving you a fantastic example at the moment. While I've been blabbering on, you've been watching in the background a gameplay from the Tubby Bear X, uh, where in fact he drops a double Moab on Carbon. So if you guys like to watch fantastic gameplays, then go and check out his channel. He drops light machine gun Moabs, shotgun Moabs, and just... Mobs with weird weapons and attachments um, and stuff like that. So the link to his channel will be in the description, so go and check him out. And if you ultimately do choose to subscribe, then tell him that I sent you. I'm sure you really would appreciate that. So what that does is it gives me a fantastic gameplay to talk over in the background so people don't get bored and will promote my channel. And at the same time, it promotes his channel and shows how much of a fantastic player he is. So how do we share subscribers? So basically, this is a little bit different. Sharing subscribers is a lot simpler than it sounds. Every time you give someone a shout out or put someone in your sub box, you're sharing your subscribers with that person. Especially if that re person returns the favour and gives you a shout out back. It's a win-win situation for both parties. Now, you want to network with channels that are a similar sort of size to yours. Because most of the time, if you message a bigger YouTuber, they may not see your message, A, because they, they get loads of them. Or they may just choose to ignore it because of the way you've set out your message. Or they may have clicked on your channel and basically just because of your sub count. Now I get countless messages each day asking if I want to do a dual con with someone or if I can give someone a shout out. It just doesn't work like that anymore. Although I'm a nice guy and I do like to help out smaller channels, I'm not always going to do it for, for free. You know what I mean? I'd like something in return. You guys can understand. Because you know, if I give someone a shout out and or, or, someone, or I let you post on my channel and you've got 100 subs, yeah, I like doing it. But to be honest, I'm not really getting anything out of it in the way of promotion or subscribers myself. So unless you can prove to me through your content that you deserve more subscribers than you actually have, then I'll be happy to do a dual com or let you post on my channel or whatnot. That's why apart from the Black Ops series, in which I'd, I'd say I probably let around 10 or 15 people post on my channel, I don't usually let people post anymore unless the gameplay or the commentary that they have sent me is amazing. Take the world record Dragonov mob for example. It's a world record Dragonov mob. I just had to upload it. 
So if you guys feel that you have an amazing gameplay or your content is really good and you feel like you're not getting noticed, then send me a little message. I'll check out your stuff. I may even let you post on my channel if it's that good. Also, the aid of social networking sites when it comes to networking can be, can be a fantastic way of sharing your videos with a new audience. If you're not already following me on Twitter, then go ahead. The link will be in the description. I'm always happy to retweet your videos, like your videos if you send them to me on Twitter. So as you'll see from now on on my channel, I'm still going to help out smaller channels. But, you know, I feel like I've done it enough. I feel like I've given a lot um, back to the community to help out smaller channels. And to be honest, no one that's bigger has ever really returned the favour and gone, you know what? The premium rat, he deserves more subscribers. He's helped out a load of smaller channels. I'll help him back. It may, it, it would be nice to just maybe one day get a mention from someone. But you know what? That's not really where the community works anymore. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you'll take some of my tips and tricks on board and use them to try and help grow your own gaming channel. Um, if you enjoy this video, then why not give it a thumbs up? It shares it around. Share this video around with your friends and uh, maybe they can take something from it. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's totally free. Follow me on Twitter. The link to that will be in the description. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.